Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here. Exciting video today. I've got a special guest. Look who it is, Pete Hello. Lockett. Hello, young man. My coach. How you doing? Good. You ready for this? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. We're you... both a bit tired, I think, aren't we? Are you ready? That's the question. I'm ready. We're indoors, we can't lose any balls, can we? That's so, true. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't seen the video, um, we did an online lesson, me and Pete. Um, I'll put links in the description and tags in the corners. So go ahead and watch that video first. Been playing a few course vlogs recently scoring not too bad check those out as well but it's time to fix this this is the big one if this gets fixed who knows what could happen with my golf and we've decided to meet at callaway hq what a place to come and have a little few hours co uh, filming ap eh, mate this is gonna be special this is special couldn't have asked for a better place i know so my iron play pete talk to me unbelievable <laughs> like that's the only word for it honestly in the comments down below if you've been watching recently my iron play is brilliant happy with it yeah but this thing driver still like if i do same feels which would be the luxury i know irons and driver have to be different deliveries and stuff like that obviously but if i try and do same feelings then i feel like i'm gonna hit a massive Bye bye. Off to the right ball, yeah. And generally speaking, my bad shot is a toe dip out the air to the left. So kind of want to get that going. Video before, um, I've tried the things that you want me to do, but I feel like I lose loads of speed doing it. Okay. So, well, how much speed are we talking about? Too much. Okay, can't game it. <laughs> Got you. Like, Mark's catching me up already. So if I lose that, then i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> but the big fear the big fear is the one right and the toey one right yeah yeah that's what i want to sort out but i cut the way that you want me to swing i lose too much speed we'll have to find a way that works for you yeah then. so we need speed and, and the intent is still to draw the ball yeah please please if that's possible that's fine that's fine <laughs> that's fine that's fine <laughs> So recap on what you want me to do. You yeah, that's want what... me to, because I've got quite a lot of side tilt. At address. Side, at address, yeah. Yeah. So I tilt away from the target. But that's because historically... Historically, when I first went on launch monitors, I was six down, six across, like head height cuts. And that was like the simplest way. win. Yeah, that was, that's what I knew and that's what I did. I didn't know anything different before launch monitors and stuff. And since going on your launch monitors, I've got my angle attack up to like four, but that's how I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you want to keep that a little bit? Yeah, I, I feel like when I hit down, I lose control of strike. Got you. Like the way I'm doing it at the moment, I know that it's going to be toey. And I know that I can start as far right as I want. <laughs> but when like I'm out the car on the first tee that toe will be like a dippy left no ball. spin gone. no spin out the air gone and then three four five holes in i can like start working stuff out to manage it right um, okay but yeah when i straighten myself up and have less tilt i feel like i'm gonna hit more down it's because you don't create it dynamically okay? yeah it just feels like this is an easy win and this okay. is going to make me hit up on we'll it. Keep, we'll keep it then. Where, keep it. as this feels like I'm an iron and I'm going to hit more down on it rather than going okay. to there. And also you talked about hands dropping. Rather which, than? Which I, ca I can do, but I feel like I can't speed up whilst doing everything else as well. So it sounds like to me we need to reduce the clutter and give you one feel. One, maybe one or two ideas for you like generally speaking years you probably before covid this is now i went in the studio just on my own figured it out hit like for three hours and just worked on something and got somewhere and that was it and it just stayed for a year or two and it was like cool i can do this was there anything in there that you can still remember it was more open with my stance and feeling like I was pushing my path way right. So same sort of concept. Yeah, it's to... all working the same to, yeah. towards the same target and end goal. But I just am tweaking little things. It's like you do loads of lessons, don't you? And if you want lessons from Pete, <laughs> comment, um, I'll put all his links in the description. 
you give someone a feel, it might work for a month and it's disappeared. Yeah. And then you've got to find another one for them. And that was kind of like what my three hour session was by myself. And it luckily lasted for a while. Um, but now obviously we're talking more, let's move things around and I'm not finding that feel and I'm losing speed. So that, like... that, that's, that's hit some base numbers. Yeah. Let's see what comes out with you being you. Let's see that dodgy one. And, yeah. you know, the, and then just as you're hitting the odd shot, just say, that's, this is where I feel like I'm struggling. Yeah. And we'll see if we can go from there. I would also be interested to find out whether or not you're largely better case in point to think about a task or scenario rather than technique. Yeah. When you golf swing. So when you're playing golf, and you're playing I smart, would definitely, I can already answer that. Go on. If I, if you told me to do something, then I would feel more comfortable than standing right. there going, right, I need to do this and then I need to do this and so on. So let's find, let's find a task or scenario that gets you moving the yeah. way we want you to move without right? really influencing you. Let's call it technical. Because I want it to get better, but yeah. like obviously I can't have it going drastically backwards to then. No, not at all. I haven't got loads of time to So, practice, so for me, so. this idea that you've got to get worse to get better. Yeah. You don't go to the doctor and say, well, <laughs> come back when you're a little bit more ill please, just to get better. <laughs> exactly, yeah. A very good analogy. <laughs> okay, so I'll hit some. Let's yeah, let's see. Some. Let's see. I'm going to video so a couple. Do you want me to hit some with your thoughts? No, I want you. Just... To, I want to see what you're at. I want okay. to see. I want you to see where you're at. Like if you're playing golf now. Yeah. I okay. just want to see what's going on. I haven't hit a driver yet. No, so. I know. This is first tee stuff, isn't it? That is a toe draw. That was that was a good drive. That one. Okay. When okay. you say toe. Yeah. How was, toey? It's we... like on the line. Got you. Okay. It's like here. Got you. Okay. Like when the big right comes in, it's dotty and the So you're never working out this wrong. side. This is never really no. game. Like I can hit that side. Yeah, I know. If, to, I, but... if I asked you to, yeah. if you just move with intent, you're probably going to hit toe centre. Because like my golf is go on a trip, work it out for nine holes, and then I'm kind of there for the rest of the trip. Get back home. Edit. Don't edit. Don't really play. Don't really practice. Go on a trip. Work it out play get home and that's kind of my route and so like i'm comfortable knowing that i hit it there and i'd rather work it around that got you okay. but if i can move that and have more confidence like you can see in this light like it's literally all there look yeah okay so you want to you want to take that you want to keep I, some of that I, but you want to... I honestly don't mind i would just like to Oh, this is so less than, like, I want to be more consistent. More consistent. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Stuff you want to achieve, guarantee maybe a slightly right start line. Yeah. And the ability to know it's it's coming back. Coming back, yeah. Right, and then as we progress, we can tighten that up, oh, right? No. But start line right, trying to turn it back a touch. Yeah. I'm just going to do something real quick. I'm not entirely sure we don't use your spin as a positive my high spin no your like like your body's like all <coughs> oh, right i'm yeah. not entirely sure we don't use that as like give you license to use it as hard as you want yeah well when with irons i feel like i can do it because i don't need speed yeah but with the driver when i slow it down with driver i just feel like i'm so there's only two there's only two stuff. options really you've got to even make the body as a pivot work further distance so more turns in the backswing but then you're going to start the ball further right the the one that i think you've got to get rid of is the way right shot now the right way right shot really dare i say it you you could go a little bit down it's a question i don't know the answer to this to see you at a couple you could go down the fox route yeah shut strong face. grip bang strong 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 face depends how you react to that though does that make sense well, I've had a strong grip for... Yes, yeah, so I'm saying, when you yonks. spoke on the phone... Yeah. If you went stronger and shut the face even more in the backswing, like, if you... It depends how you then react. Do you, Does coach then try to swing more left, or does coach try to swing more right to, to fix that? That's exactly the same shot again. When you hit that shot, was there anything particularly you felt? You've hit three decent ones. Um, it just felt like I hit it off slight toe which i'm used to and but is that an issue with that shot no two five spin launching at 12 ball speed 167 carrying one at 290 path is what plus 0.4 yeah you need so you need to either swing more right 
ball drop the angle attack a touch and that, did you feel anything different then is that just your normal move that's my normal move okay, perfect like if i hit that on the course would you tell the camera that was toey i would say i wouldn't say anything no yeah yeah because it's good yeah but you know exactly, it's toey. yeah but yeah. i know that's toey and i know flight on in your there. world though path is zero how much are you feeling right at the moment yeah I'm not feeling right at the moment. So you're neutral, your normal is zero. That's what I would have thought. That Are that you scared been, to yeah. move path right? No. Okay, so let's move path right on one. By doing what you Whatever think. Whatever you want to do. Have access to be a player. So you can just align there if you want. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to try and move it a little bit. What, so like how much? Let's go four. Four. So what did you change? Alignment? Um... I didn't change alignment much, but I felt like I just moved my head towards the right of the screen a little bit. Well, there you go. So you've now shifted, you've now shift path and baseline way right. So you've gone yeah. six up and three right. So yeah. there's a natural win there that you're able to control path. But my yeah. fear is that that angle tack is going to get too much. Too severely up. That's why, that's why we had this conversation about this. I feel in, like yeah. the more that you swing, your, your, change your swing direction in, yeah. typically people move that way. Yeah. Now you're going to hit maybe low on the face, which is swapping strike around, mm -hmm. but maybe gives you less or more control, we don't know. Yeah. But the fact that you're able to like, because that's a, that's, a, that's a skill, right? Not, not that's what I said at do. the start, like if you give me an objective, like I'd much rather do that than swing field. Yeah. And if we leave this as, Matt, you need to picture this window and try and do this on each shot. Yeah. Great, but um, like you say, that's six up now. Correct, so here's, here's the next task. Can we maintain three to four to the right? Because that's going to guarantee some degree of launch direction subject to what the face is doing. But let's just do one parameter at a time. Yeah. Can you keep the four, but keep the angle tack around four? Because not many people can control that, right? There aren't, there aren't a huge amount of skilled golfers who just say, look, can you just shift your path four right for me? Yeah. If that's a skill you've got. I've got every skill, Pete. <laughs> you haven't known me long, just you wait. <laughs> three right and more down. Yeah, let's keep keep it under four. And it doesn't matter, doesn't matter how I do nope, that. No, you be you. Be you. Oh, that's a bad one. Okay. That's strikes change as well on that one. So pass two, angle tax three, and you've hit low heel. Low heel. Do you think that's you changing path or angle attack that's cost that? Angle attack. Okay, so let's go again. Just Let's go back to just hitting four to the right for me. Let's just see if it is consistent. Because my face control goes a path is me trying to do this loads and catch it up a lot which is the conversation we need to have about strengthening up that club face yeah you've got options you can either as you know dynamically put different wrist angles in which is an in-swing change or we just principally go look this club face needs to be stronger throughout the golf swing yeah the more it feels open the more you fear that one yeah and the more you've got to react to the bottom really you you've got a green light to be a bit of ryan fox if you want yeah to. basically because when we talk about that so you've asked me to move path but hit more down and when i hit down more i feel like i handle drag more okay so do you feel like so, so that's i've basically handled drag to get my part um angle attack down and i've also moved my path right so i'm like this correct now. and so then you, i just think you're not using skeletal system yeah. to hit change angle attack you're moving yeah up of, correct yeah. which is why we had that conversation about yeah. trying to remove some of this because yeah. i felt the more you went this way the angle attack was just going to spike yeah with a fear attached to past i think the major concern here is that you just keep path to the right yeah play around with t height but just get the club face all organized yeah so you don't lose it does that make sense so if i go path right and up yeah. Because I feel like, again, if I do that again... So what you would, what I would get you to eventually do is just put path right and just we move the ball position to angle attack is suitable. Okay, so back then. Yeah, it would have to be. But the club face would have to be a little bit stronger, which is the same conversation. Okay. Because I'm happy to grip it strong. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd much rather... I've been like that for ages. And it's all your skill, right? Yeah. You can hit soft wedges, little... Yeah. yeah. So I'd rather not take that away from you. Because like you keep it wedge game and stuff like I'm just keeping this in if I want to hit a soft yeah high so if you change grip stuff. here you you yeah go stronger go stronger 
Four right. Stronger, four right, and just hit it. Pull back a bit, maybe. Yeah. That's I, a different I, flight. I don't feel like I'm going to miss that right very often. Like, look at that. Look at that. So you've actually been really... So I can't see you overdoing the path feel. Does that make sense? Your uh, four right is still two right. I'm definitely someone that needs to think about moving path right. I'm pretty straight to maybe slightly left. Yeah, so... And if I wanted to go safe, if you said pick one... Yeah. Because of where I used to play, I would always try to cut Down it. Down left. But you don't want to take uh, that away from you. Yeah, but this is where I feel like I want to be more comfortable. Like, that's 172 ball speed and ooh, 300 carry. Oh. Like, that's good though, isn't it? So, what I would now challenge you to do is go, how strong a grip can you go? Mm -hmm. How far can the ball go back before the coach gets in trouble? Okay. Does that make sense? So, you're trying to find, you're trying to find the end parameter here of... Because these are changes you can make pre golf swing, really, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely. And if you if you then do struggle to continue the path conversation, we just align you. But the ball position is going to help you direct it, isn't it? Yeah. And this is what I say with loads of my lessons. I don't know if you find it with yours. Is finding an extreme. Yeah. And then just working it backwards, like hot, hot and cold tap. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you've got a lot of cold tap yeah. going on right now. You've got a massive fade, a massive draw, bring it in yeah. in the middle somewhere. Massively, yeah. So, st how strong can I grip it? Strong? <laughs> so, are you, are you immediately going left or right, or are you going both? I, I go left and then my right just sits it's, where. It probably will affect the way the left arm sits as well. Yeah. Because so you're just in more this way. Yeah, you're going this way, right? Yeah. So, if your elbow's pointing towards the camera mm. and you deliver elbow towards the screen, what yeah. happens to the face? Yeah, yeah. If you set up elbow towards the screen, Oh, let go of the golf club, and now regrip it. Yeah, it's going to be easier for you to always guarantee a face closed. Yeah. So your Hovlands of the world, so setting up this way, going that way. Your Rory McIlroys of the world are setting up the other way. Yeah. So they've got more range of mo motion. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not only grip, your forearm has to change. Mm -hmm. So I would actually. So draw... mine goes from more. You're twisted. right. Yeah. I'm more supinated that way with yep. my or that way with my thing, and then I go this way. Correct. So you'd have to feel a bit more elbow towards the target with a strong grip. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Then ball so back. Strong grip, ball back a bit. So I literally, I'm feeling like I need to push path way right. To manage that face. Straight away, yeah. It's a lower flight on the screen, isn't it? Trying to come back. So I'm three and five up there. Yeah. That's pretty close to being like really good numbers. And it's 300 carry. Yeah. Not it's taking the left out of play. Yeah. And obviously having a conversation about where you feel that's going to start in play on a golf course. But it's, it is going to remove left, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously having that conversation about relative to target. Do you just want to align a bit further left? You said earlier when you had those three hours of yeah, yeah. tiredness, you started aiming, to, yeah. aiming left a little bit. Yeah. So that could easily fix that, couldn't it? What about strike? Did, did you lose or gain confidence with strike with different grips? Strike, I don't feel, has changed at all yet. They're all out the toe. And that was going to be my next question. Yeah. If I want to move strike. Which is a question, isn't it? Should we find yeah. out what happens when we move it? Absolutely. So next up, moving strike. Grip strength. Yep. You want me to go as strong as possible or just where it's comfortable? Like, I'm strong anyway. I haven't seen you hit one left going stronger yet. No. So I think you've got to push that conversation until... So that's managing it on the day kind of stuff as well. Yeah, I of course. Say. We all do that yeah, a yeah. little bit. But I think the conversation has to be, you're probably never going to be somebody that controls the face without managing the grip better. Yeah. So I think if you get the grip stronger, the club face by definition should, not always, but should react in a stronger way. Yeah. Which means we're going to remove the big right ball. Yeah. Firstly, now I just task you to feel like if I asked you for the very simplest win to change strike location, what would you do? Just try and hit a different part of the face. Okay. Would you, would you not stand a bit closer to it or further away? Mm, that would be my second try. Okay. Before. Let's go that first one. So let's just do pre-setup. So right, because trying to find a trying trying to find a path, a target, and a different strike location on a golf course is like yeah, it's a lot going okay, on. Okay, so you um, stand a bit closer. Yeah, stand a bit closer. Probably a bit taller. Interesting, because I would have said taller would move my club closer. Right. So now, what have you got to do with your arms? Like move them away. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's have this conversation. Go again for me. 
So if I was to try and hit the heel, okay, yeah, I would lower it so it moved further away from me. That's based upon you returning back to that spot, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. If you think about, let's go extreme here, mm -hmm. Bryson, standing pretty tall, arms pretty far away, he's set what's known, known as the radius, right? He's yeah. setting the radius. Yeah. He can't push that radius any further away from him now because he's set out in that way. Yeah. If you're setting up in quite a low way, the arms, if they come out in any way, shape or form... They'll come up this way and closer to me. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's almost like, again, hot cop. Hot, yeah, yeah. Just going the other way. And it's kind of, that's kind of like pressures in the ground, isn't it? Like, if you want to move that way, you've got to push that way. 100%. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, God. it's literally the opposite. Yeah. You're right, lower yeah. handle pushes the glove. Yeah. But that's based upon if you return that way. That way, yeah. So if I said to you, imagine you're Bryson for a second. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Oh, Bryson. I am pretty much like Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got really like straight arms, isn't he? Yeah, Which yeah. Is feeling. So yeah. He's setting that radius, and your job is to try and keep that radius throughout this goal swing. That felt more middled. So? The path wasn't as far right. Correct. But then that's not what you were thinking, is it? No. You were thinking more. And again, for guys down that lens in lessons, I'll give someone one thing, they'll do it. Give them two things, they might do it, but then they'll forget the first. They might be able to juggle two, we're, we're, or three, and it's like... We're already at one. the top end, right, yeah. the onion. But I would say it's all based on setup. Yeah. Grip stronger, arms further away, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of conversation here. Yeah. That's it. Your job now is just to return as a golfer with an intent to draw it. Yeah. That's your only goal. Every ball's got to start right. Because right now we've not thought, talked about golf swing really, have we? No, and this is, again, like I keep saying about my lessons and things, but I rarely talk golf swing in my lessons. Yeah. So much is intent, like people will come in, oh, I swing it over the top, I hit it massively high and right. Well, have you tried it in one lower? <laughs> like... There's that on the cloud on the screen there, and yours are all going above it. Can you hit it below it? And they start to move differently they just to do change it. Change dynamic um, loft, hit it lower, path moves anyway. Like, <laughs> you just change your intent to change Love all that. the things that we need to do. So my order is check the player's intent. They want yeah. to hit a draw. Check the player's concept. Do they know how to hit a draw? Uh, how to hit a draw? Yeah. And there's different ways to hit draws, right? I could aim right, face closed. I could shift path. What's the player's concept? So yours is typically you're having to work quite hard to move path. Yeah. So the concept for you might be subject to your fear level when you just aim a couple of degrees right, because yeah. that's going to trick the quad yeah. in, a, in a second. Absolutely. Does that then match up with grip conversation? Mm -hmm. If you're able to be skillful in that task, job's done. Yeah. If you're not able to be skillful in that task, that's technically where the lesson begins. Yeah, yeah. But good players, I think, don't have to go that way too often. Yeah. And so many lessons, I think, would be surprised on what they can do with a golf ball and golf swing. Like, I get 20 handicappers coming in, didn't know that they could hit it lower with just asking them and drawing it and so on. Like, I haven't hit a draw in my life. Two swings in, they've hit a draw. And it's like, <laughs> have I done that? And Magic. And Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I, and I think it's, like you said, getting the player's intent first because... We'll say a draw. A draw might be something completely different to your student. Correct. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a really important part too, isn't it? So something you said there was concept. You're naturally fairly neutral your path, haven't you? Yeah. You, you, there's a joke behind it, but you hit it relatively neutral. Yeah. So you probably should always have a conversation about alignment on a golf course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So stronger grip, left arm set slightly differently and longer like Bryson, if you want to hit it like Bryson. God, it's so funny. I just want to go like this and lower. <laughs> like, so you're like... literally, let's go nuts on one. Set yourself up. Set yourself up. Let's go like crazy. This is, this is supposed to be awkwardly funny. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. Club, club face feeling really you know, strong with that grip. Let's just hit a draw. Draw it. That's heel, isn't it? That's a heel, definitely. Right. So now you've got the cold tap. Yeah. You've Ease got the... up. Yeah. So you've gone up. There's your heel. There's my heel, yeah. Which you would have probably gone further away and that was it yeah that was the opposite end of the tap right yeah probably yeah do that much so that's now your ability as a skill to go okay that's that's right that's wrong yeah yeah that's interesting because yeah i totally would have gone the opposite way but i still would have found the heel if you asked of course you would have. i would have said um but that's me hitting the heel without having to think now which is like another win isn't it yeah because it's one less thing to think about isn't it and if i'm 
on the first or second hole out the car knowing that my pattern is a toe, then I just stand slightly taller on the first all of a sudden. Job done. And I stop at toe hooking it. Yeah. The old clogs are turning in there, aren't they, eh? So you're so it's Bryce and Lockie then? Bri yeah, it's not Fleetwood. It's a, it's a strong it's, it's a strong grip. with my irons. Yeah. And it's Bryce and the driver. Talk insane concepts. I feel like that's quite a good mix. I'm going to do extreme again. Okay, so like left elbow's got to feel a bit. That's it, grip. R our hands up. Go on, Bryson. Give it, Bryson. I couldn't do it for full Bryson. No. That's a toey one. So here's the question, though. Have you hit one left yet? The last one finished left, but it's not, like, disastrous. I wouldn't say it's missing fairway left. So was there more of a concept there of this than grip? Yeah, I, feel, I do feel awkward like this, obviously. Yeah, of course. Grip feels absolutely fine, like I can do grip. I think it's just now, if we want to move strike and find middle more, I just need to play around with how much I do this. Correct. That's literally it. What was your angle of attack on that one, coach? Uh, three, plus three. Good. Like, and path was two to the right, 1.6, so I'm So I don't down. think you're ever really going to see big curvatures because your paths ever, isn't really dramatic, right? No, it's, yeah, like in lessons I can see up to like nines and I can see you and nine. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you and nine, are you? <laughs> right, get on here. <laughs> Let's sort you out. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. Like it's, if I'm on the course, I can feel extreme and it won't be extreme as yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I reckon. Um, I like that I can be as aggressive as I want with this. Yeah. And I love that if this is my new strike thought. Easier. Yeah, because it's just at set up and then that's it done. Go then, one, two more balls. One more ball where you go how you would have set up. Lower handles type yeah. of stuff. Let's see what happens with the same intent. Now, you you might be able to find strike, but let me know what feels... With strong grip as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same but, stuff. Yeah. Like, that's the one that's gone there. <laughs> like, so, and that's really interesting as well, because that's what I don't want. And if my thought, even though it hit heel, is the wrong way of thinking about it, because it produces this... That's just going to cause issues. Isn't then it? I don't need that thought. No, that's. I that... want your thought now, all of a sudden, because it's just done, and I don't have to think. But I think understanding the difference—that's not a, you know, I would never ask anybody to do that. But I think understanding the difference of those two. Yeah. And if you hit maybe a batch of ten and a batch of ten, and you, you keep. Because look at that again, two to the right and four up. Like my angles aren't changing there. I've just not controlled face at all. Which you've basically set I've up on this yeah. way to try and move my head a bit more that way. Bryson. Ah, oh, Bryson. Go on, an extreme grip. Strong grip. Arm. Set yourself up. S same intent. Trying to hit I'm target. Just gonna, I'm not going full, Bryson. I'm just standing. No, you've got to find that. something, right? Yeah. So that was a tiny bit toey, but that's probably coming back slightly. Oh, it stayed there. So oh, when you're, so there's a real conversation here that as you are setting up for a Bryson. Are you setting up slightly differently here? I am, yeah. I'm yep. just in that way. Yeah. You've now got access to, which is a scary thing for you, you've got access now to a bit more of this. Yeah. Right. You've got access to that. I'm not thinking about that. No, I'm no, but if I said to you, like if I asked you now to hit one over curvature, I just show me one that definitely curves for me. All right. Because that is going to take loft off, isn't it? That's, yeah. know, that's a scary thought. But let's say at least, you know, 10 feet of curve. Starting right, ending yeah. left. Yeah, just a touch, you know, just guarantee the draw. I definitely have to think about this. Yes, change natural as setup, well. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah my you, natural so I, much I, this way. I wouldn't be surprised on the camera on that last one if it wasn't overly there then. Oh, really? Because yeah. oh, I did think about it. I did so, try so, to so, move so, it. Let go of the golf club. Okay, now grip it. Now that feels stronger again yeah. now. Yeah, so club face can't be open here. Yeah. Can't be. Oh, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally Bryson. I feel ridiculous. It's funny. Draw in. There you go. Finishing left. Right. So I'm skilled. You see, you are That's skilled. Good <laughs> coach. So when you've gone, that was hundred percent nuts, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That was. It's just understanding that that was full on flat out cold tap. Okay. So I've got a few setup things. I need to think more this way. Yeah. And then putting my grip on basically. 
which makes it feel stronger because I'm going normal and gripping more this way. Correct. Yeah. And then so you... I need to feel stronger by going this way. So internally rotated here. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because that felt totally different. I'm like cheating, which is what again lessons do, don't they? They, you go grip, grip, grip it stronger. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, back to normal before I even hit it. They twiddle around. Boo boo boo. Yeah. Yeah. But there. I'm like going normal stronger, whereas you're going like stronger. So you've got basically, you have a fade bias swing. Yeah, yeah. It, and you're setting up with fade biased arm structures. Yeah, so yeah. So you might as well set up with the intent in the arms. Yeah. So it's not just grip, it's arms. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to have to do this, I think. And be yeah, like... so here we go. Here's now the setup bit, isn't yeah. it? The bit, this is now, yeah. this is now you've got to figure out how yeah. to get into the shot. So yeah. Fitzpatrick sets up with his left hand on it. Yeah, yeah, like that? this. Yeah, because yeah, he's trying to set this arm. Yeah. So is Adam Scott. They're trying to set the arm structure early. Yeah. So just trying to find that way. Oh, I'm going to get tennis elbow or something, aren't I? <laughs> going to do me in before our trip. That's the whole point. <laughs> Trey texted me this morning. Said, <laughs> Get coach Tennis Elbow. That feels like I've done it there. And okay. that feels proper strong as well. This thing like, I don't it, no, it's toey. That's coming back, I think. I would take that on the course, even though it's a tiny bit toe. So I think there's also that conversation of how powerful is it that you're able to know you hit it off the toe, mm -hmm. and the toe is probably gonna help us out in some degree with your intent. Yeah. You know, the last thing I want you to do is have a path right and hit low heel. Yeah. Probably we're in issues there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It's now, I, I still feel like you could stand touch taller, arms a bit further. Yeah. I think the more that you do that, you're setting that radius, because we talked about the backswing right, got a little bit behind you. Yeah. Keeping that radius almost throughout. Yeah. I can't see how that's not going to significantly allow you to play golf while getting like a little bit better every week with it. Yeah. Makes me want to practice. Don't scary, practice too hard. It? Don't practice too hard. That's scary. Get me in that garden at home. <laughs> yes. No excuses. No well, excuses. There is. It's cold and it's wet. So that's the excuse. Let me get one more. One more. God, I sound like Mark. One more. One more. One more. That's it. You don't, you don't like that, do you? I know. Can you see how, what, what does your shoulders, though, immediately? And it goes that way, yeah. yeah. Which helps us with the path. path as well. Path is, and angle of attack aren't changing, which I, I do like as well. So I'm just literally, I literally feel like my face is just going to be closed all the time now. Perfect. And if I want to draw it, that's all good. Stand a bit taller. That's a bit toey, that one. So I would, the last change I would say is you need a scooch because you've obviously stood up taller. Yeah. Down the closer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, does that make sense? This is why I'm hitting toes. Correct, still. because we've now set you up for yeah, it in a way. Yeah. It's going to hit more toes, so now we go in a bit closer. Yeah. All right, one more. One more. So stand a bit closer, same pattern, guaranteeing that curve. And this is the bit that we said about at the start, my club speed's still what it normally is. Yeah, which is what the, you were like, super worried about. Yeah, we? yeah. Like moving from here to here, being like hands are dropping this way. Because you've done that um, sort of stuff with... Yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah, done it before, it? yeah. 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 So I still think about all of this all yeah. the time to get that club catching up. Um, so I, I, again, it's a skill that I can probably do, just the straightening up and not being able to like push in the ground how I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just stopping speed, basically. So set up what feels like on the heel to you and then just readjust because you're going to have to stand a bit closer. It's going to feel horrible, this is. This, that feels close to me. Yeah, fine. Oh, that was a middler. Ah. That found the middle. So that's found the middle. Yeah. Hasn't hit target though. No. Nope. So we might have to have that conversation of which is more important. Yeah. But what have we got there? We've got a ball started fractionally right, we've got a face that's fractionally closed. Yeah. And we've got a middle strike. Yeah. If I, if you did that for 10 balls, you're skilled enough to figure that one out, aren't you? Uh-huh. I definitely feel like that, because your path hasn't changed there. Because I'm doing this extreme as well still. Correct. So I can just ease that off and do exactly the same there and that will go a little bit higher and a little less draw. Yeah. Like that. That makes sense. So you've now found the other end now. Yeah, yeah. Now just ease it off. Correct. So you're better off hitting 10 of those in practice. Yep. And then going, I'm going to reduce now, reduce. Calm now, down reduce. a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Thank you, Pete. You're welcome, Coach sir. Pete. Don't play too well, will you? Lock it and locky. That's, that's a dangerous conversation, isn't it? It is. I'm looking forward to our little trip. Not long now, mate. Not long now. Looking forward to it. Spain, here we come. Here we go.